fashion sewers. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to straighten the ends of your fabric. Now this is all in aid of you before you actually do your lay planning so therefore you need to make sure that your lengthwise grain which is the warp and your crosswise grain which is the weft are nice and straight. My name is Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Vlog. Now as you can see my fabric is not straight okay very much uneven all the way there and this end is a fold so this is when the fabric has been on the actual roll and the selvage which is this end you can see it's not matching up now you may think all I need to do is just kind of pull it and make sure that it's lined up and then you may think that you've actually got a true grain lengthwise and crosswise but no that isn't the case now the trick is I'm going to use the word trick is to find the true grain what I need to do is snip into the selvage and a little bit into the fabric and then remove the weft thread so that's what I'm going to show you to do next so now I'm going to be snipping into the selvage remember this is a selvage here there's two selvages snip and then I'm going to be removing the weft thread and as I pull to remove that you'll see it start to gather my hand out the way there and that's what's happening so as you can see there that is a wet thread that I'm actually removing there so I'm going to continue to pull there until I remove it completely so that's what you need to do now I'm halfway through pulling my wet thread so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a little knot here so I don't lose my thread and I'm making sure that when I'm ready to give it another go, I can find it again. So I've created that and then I'm going to snip this here. And then I'm going to pull here to remove the weft thread. There we go. So as you can see now, it's now removed. Now I'm going to be cutting along that line there. So here, let me just track it so you can see it, I'll just chalk it in. So that is where I'll actually be cutting into the fabric in order to strain it out. So now I'm going to start again and pull the remaining of the weft thread on the other side of the fabric. Now I've just chalked where I need to actually cut my fabric. You may not be able to see that but it's a red chalk there so I'm going to cut all that away and then you'll see how much fabric you'll actually be wasting really. Well, no, not really wasting, I should say. Let's keep on cutting. Just keep on cutting until you get to the end of the fabric. Okay, now you can see I've got a nice straight hedge in which to place my patterns on. So therefore I've aligned the warp and weft threads by using that method. And as you can see, I've taken away quite a bit of fabric there. And the fold is also a little off centre from when I actually bought it off the roll, but it's on its true lengthwise grain so you may just feel I mean you, can, you can't see it but I can actually feel that the actual original fold is slightly under here it's actually starting there so now what I have done is straighten the ends of both sides of the fabric in order to get a true lengthwise and length lengthwise grain and crosswise grain so that's what you need to do before you start any of your fabric planning and these are the weft threads that are removed and that gave me the line in which to cut along. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. Um, I found it a little bit difficult because of the size of the fabric, but what I was trying to say is, in order for you to get your grains lying correctly, which they need to be before you actually place your pattern pieces on it, you need to actually be removing the weft thread 
which will give you the straight line in which to cut along and then you'll find that when you actually match both your ends the selvage you get a true line and the best way to, to actually tell that you've, you've got that is sometimes a fold which is going to be the fold that you actually had on the fabric may be a little bit out of place but that's fine because you have gone ahead and done the uh, tracking of your grains by removing the wet thread and cutting so I hope you found that useful and also if you have any questions do contact me and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.